In this Tobacco University video, we're going to go over CBG and CBGA cannabinoids and some of the more advanced processes that these are involved uh, as the plant goes through and produces various other cannabinoids and where does CBG fall in that particular process. All right, let's get into CBG and CBGA cannabinoids. So uh, here is a research article if you're looking for more information on this cannabinoid as well as others. Here's the proper citation. You can go take a look at it for yourself. Getting into the uh, specifics of this article, uh, this video lecture, I've derived from information from that article as well as others. We're looking at the CBGA pathway. So kind of looking at this before I get into the details, looking at CBGA being located right here. On a quick general sense, what you're noticing is a lot of other pathways, a lot of other things coming down the chain, uh, kind of getting to this bottleneck restriction point, and then we have CBGA, and then we have a division from there. So this is why CBGA is so important. And we've got a bunch of ancillary processes that come down to CBGA and then there's a division step from there as well. It's kind of that restriction point molecule. Now that CBGA is produced, uh, you can see here from the GPP and OA uh, by the synthesis of aromatic uh, pyrene through transferase or just AP. The biochemistry takes place in the plastid, which is also where the um, MEP pathway produces the GPP and terpenes. So we're seeing some overlap to other plant uh, processes. GPP is shared substance in both cannabinoids as well as terpenes, again, showing some overlap in these pathways within the plant. After the CBGA is synthesized, it is transported out of the plastid to the hyaline glob uh, into the um, apoplast. This is all occurring, again, within that trichome structure. This is where the conversion of CBGA to subsequent cannabinoids takes place, and those subsequent cannabinoids uh, can be TTA um, or CBDA. The CBG, CBGA is not converted into subsequent cannabinoids, which will accumulate in the trichome. Now, heat may cause a conversion to its neutral active form, just CBG, because heat will cause CBGA to basically be converted to CBG. So the take-home message here is if we're uh, more familiar with potentially THC or CBD, if we're looking back at the chemical processes of the plant, it all kind of originated in the CBGA production of the plant. So if a plant can produce, cannot produce a lot of CBGA or is a poor producer, it is also be a poor producer of some other potentially cannabinoids you might be more familiar with. So the interaction uh, with the uh, cannabinoids and the receptors is important. CBGA and CBG have been shown to interact with cannabinoid receptors that bind to CBD and also THC modulating their effect. So we're getting into this could also potentially kind of get into the competing with effects of other cannabinoids uh, based on how they bind to the specific receptors in the body. And this is why research needs to be done to better understand these potential interactions as well as binding steps. Now there's anecdotal reports. So many anecdotal reports have shown that CBG has similar effects to CBD. Medical studies have shown that CBG is a potent uh, androreceptor uh, antagonist, and other studies have shown CBG is, has antibiotic properties. It is worth noting that all, all of the general side chain cannabinoids have shown to exhibit potential antimicrobial properties, so this would make sense if this falls into the same category. I mentioned these are from more anecdotal reports, and kind of anecdotal reports really aren't valid. We need clinical trials, uh, even though you may say that, oh, enough people say it, it must be true. Well, we need those clinical trials to have a double blind study to actually prove uh, potential effects and maybe find other uh, pathways or sequences we may not have. Uh, originally considered. But lastly, looking at the uh, cannabinoid biosynthesis uh, pathway, CBJ is a cannabinoid uh, precursor. Again, we see all these kind of cannabinoid processes going through, all arrows leading to CBGA, and then from there, all arrows coming from CBGA. This biosynthesis uh, pathway leads through, or at least can be restricted by CBGA, so this is why it's an important kind of precursor to understand not only how plants produce it, but how it goes on uh, to produce other uh, compounds in the plant. That restriction point there um, can be vital uh, and great for future research.